In the 21st century, nations have collapsed. From the ruins of war arise a society fueled by greed. Profiteering mega corporations provide protection and jobs to anyone who abides by their policies. The alternative, a criminal path. Street gangs engage in a constant power struggle against rival gangs and authorities. But there are some that have no interest in gang affiliations nor company citizenship. They only pledge allegiance to the highest bidder. Their title, Bounty Hunter. Their only objective, Hunt down. No trip down Nostalgia Lane would be complete without a sharp left turn into the 80s. The glory days of 8-bit pixel side-scrolling adventure shooters. Most gamers above the age of 35 likely played a Mega Man or a title from the Contra series and have fond memories. Hunt Down on Nintendo Switch takes the side-scrolling formula that works so well in this genre and infuses it with the spirit of the 80s. Just think of any action movie during this time, Running Man, Robocop, Total Recall, and you'll get a mental picture of the tone and vibe that this terrific indie game is laying down. Each gang adopts their own theme and takes it to the nth degree, whether it's enemies dressed as hockey players, or a boss modeled after the Macho Man Randy Savage. The spirit of the 80s is on full display in Hunt Down. As mentioned earlier, Hunt Down really does a great job in channeling the gameplay of classic side-scrolling action shooters. Each level has the protagonist blowing up enemies along a predetermined path, and ends with a final battle with a boss in a locked room. The length of the level itself is just the right amount, and includes a number of checkpoints along the way to assist with progress. The choice to go with infinite lives is sound, but after a while the stages do feel a bit too formulaic. A bit more variety beyond just moving from left to right would have been nice, but it doesn't distract too much from the overall experience. Luckily, each of the bosses has a different gimmick, so learning the patterns and devising a strategy is a whole lot of fun. But if you ask me what the best part of Hunt Down is, the answer is the non-stop shoot em up action. Each of the protagonists can equip three different weapons, a standard handgun with unlimited ammo, a secondary weapon that is collected during gameplay, and a third option that has a standard base attack, such as an axe, but can be replaced with grenades, mines, or even Molotov cocktails. The action is fast and furious. Jumping, kneeling, and hiding behind walls is all necessary for survival. The design of each of the enemies is based on the gang they are affiliated with, and the variety of these enemies are impressive. The biker gang has enemies on motorbikes or even jetpacks, while bad guys from the hockey theme gang can come at you on skates and with sticks. Larger enemies with shields and flamethrowers can be harder to bring down, but there's never a lack of munitions to do it. Enemies regularly drop big ticket items like automatic rifles, flamethrowers, or rocket launchers to help mow through the bad guys. Even a few ridiculous items like wielding a guitar or a hockey stick are available. Or you can even go T2 like Arnie with the massive Gatling gun. Whether or not you pick up on all the dozens of 80s pop culture references, Hunt Down on Switch is just a finely developed game that can be enjoyed by all. The wanton killing and incineration of baddies are obviously a little too mature for kids. But for those of the right age, the finely tuned controls are just a joy to play. We've seen a few strong indie titles with similar vibes and high level quality such as Katana Zero or Hotline Miami, and just like those games, I can highly recommend Hunt Down on Switch.